Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mason Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a sweet double exposure effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. So, you can see we've got this shot here, a uh, clip on a white background. If you want to see how to get the shot to this point that starts off looking like this, I've got a tutorial for that. So you can do this even if you don't have a studio, because I did this in my dining room. So we have this here. And now, in order to get the double exposure effect, it's actually super easy. We're going to go into our media page. It's going to import some footage. So I've got this clip from the Meester Media Lens Junk Pack. We're going to overlay. And we're just going to take that into our edit page now. You see, I've got all these clips from random tutorial ideas and stuff. So just ignore that. Set some quick in points and out points. Make this so it's not annoying. Bring this over top of our clip. And... Just like that, we don't have the effect. So select this clip that you have on top, go to Inspector, and go to Screen. Now what this will do is it will only apply the image to the darker parts. So all the white stuff just gets clipped out, and now you can see we got something pretty sweet looking. But it's a little bit over the top. How are we going to make this better? We're going to go into our color page again. In order to switch between our clips quicker, the easiest way to do is just go to the timeline. And now you can see we have our top clip and our this clip and our background clip. So first thing we're going to do is add a new node in our, uh, I guess, subject clip is what we'll call it. And we're going to track the face. So add this guy. We're going to go to a little nicer point in the image where it's a little easier. It's going to make it pretty rough. There we go. That's looking good. Go to our tracker. Turn off 3D because that is bad most of the time there and backwards and yeah looking good nice and easy so now we can copy this node with just control C go up to our top clip a new node and paste into that node and now you can see if we hit shift H we get our face track right here so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that into a mask and you can see nothing happened but a little node changed here we're gonna do right click add alpha output and we're going to take the alpha, which is in this little triangle. I'll put it there. And now you can see, whoa, that looks weird. So in order to make that look less weird, go over to our key tab and change our output offset. And you can see now we can sort of just reduce the opacity there. Now this is still a little bit weird, so we're going to soften it out a good little bit. So it looks a little bit nicer. Keep it nice and soft. Go to our key. Change our offset a little bit more. So now that's looking better. And you can see since we tracked it, that'll move. So it makes our shot look way more expensive, which is always good. Another thing we can do is, I'm not really digging this yellow color, so luckily, it's super easy to just move the hue. So now it's blue, and whoa, that looks pretty cool. But um, because it's blue, but also. So now another thing that makes us look cooler is to make this shot black and white. So since I'm a jerk, I like to do this in the RGB mixer. So there you go, monochrome. That's looking pretty good. We'll go ahead and contrast this up a little bit more, because that'll make it look nice. So there's that. Let's get a little nicer frame to see what we're doing. Yeah, that's looking cool. And now this effect's still a little bit much, so let's just add some contrast to our our blue stuff. Yeah. Now that, that is pretty cool. So you can use whatever footage you want over top of this. People like to use landscapes a lot, but, you know, I just made the lens junk pack, so we're going to use that. So, you know, another example would be if you wanted to another random clip so we're going to drag these you know sweet purple lights drag that on top and you can even put that over top of the whole thing so you can just go boom composite mode screen now that's over top of the whole thing but say you only want that on the bottom you know how to do that because you can just add an alpha output so instead of rotating that i'll just make it into a mask because i'm way too lazy to rotate something and uh, alpha output and there we go look at that now we've got two things going on crazy and once you have that all done if you want to say like cool i don't want to adjust that anymore go to edit select them all right click and go to new compound clip we can call this sweet shot bro create and now it's all in one thing Go into our grade, and now you can say, oh, cool, I want to adjust the contrast, and I want to, I don't know, create some sweet light rays. Yeah, lightweight, light rays are always cool. They're my favorite. Whoa! 
Look at that. Bring our threshold down. Ray length. What? Crazy. So you can make it look really crazy. That's kind of bad. But, you know, you can do all sorts of stuff. More contrast. So anyway, just like that, you can make a super cool shot super easily. People will think that you're way better than you are, way artsier than you are, which is always a good thing. Oh, that's kind of a derp face. Let's go. A little better spot. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to check out the Mies New Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out MiesNewMedia.com slash products, where we just released the Lens Junk Pack, which is super cool. We got 1080 versions. We got 4K versions. Each... Each one comes with both H.264 and ProRes versions. And with those H.264 versions, I took the time and I did the double pass render for you. So those are pretty nice H.264 files. So just hope you appreciate that because that took like a long time of rendering. Anyway, once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. Hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.